Hey guys, what is up? It's Techy here, and today guys, I'm here with a quick tutorial on how to use your iPad as an external display in macOS Catalina, aka using Sidecar. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. So starting off, first I'm gonna go in and list the system requirements for Sidecar. Right now it seems like the only MacBook starting from 2016 models work, iMacs from 2015 and on, 2018 Mac Minis, 2018 MacBook Airs, iMac Pros, and the upcoming Mac Pros are supported. On the iPad side, only Apple Pencil supported iPads have the feature, which includes iPad Pros from 2017 and on, the iPad from 2018 and on, and iPad Airs from 2019 and on. With that aside, to use Sidecar, there are a few things that you need to make sure. First of course, make sure that your MacBook is on macOS Catalina, and your iPad is also running the latest version, which is currently iPadOS. Secondly, make sure that the same Apple ID is signed in on both the Mac and iPad. And lastly, making sure that both devices do have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on. Now on your Mac, go ahead and find the AirPlay icon on your menu bar. For me, right now it is an iPad icon because I've already used Sidecar. But for most people who are just starting to use Sidecar, it should still be an AirPlay icon. Anyways, after you click on it, go ahead and find your iPad's name under the section that says Connect To. And after that, simply click on it and your iPad should transform to an external display. On the iPad, it should now show your MacBook's wallpaper and have a sidebar and touch bar on the left and bottom. If that annoys you, simply go to the AirPlay icon again, click on the high touch bar and high sidebar option. It takes a couple seconds to do it and when you do it, the display on your Mac will turn black and the iPad screen will turn blurry. But don't worry because that will only take a second. Under the same icon, you can also set the iPad as a secondary display or mirroring your display as well depending on your preferences. Using your finger, you can pinch, swipe, and zoom. However, to fully utilize your mouse without using one, you can also use the Apple Pencil, which works almost like a mouse. The Apple Pencil is also supported in certain creative applications such as Photoshop where the Apple Pencil is fully optimized and you can also be able to use it as a drawing tablet because it has palm rejection and also pressure sensitivity. So there you go guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Coming up, I am planning to release my review of Catalina and whether or not to update it, so make sure you're subscribed and click on that bell icon to get all of the notifications when I upload. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure to click on that like button. That is it for today's video and I'll see you guys all in the next one.